Pakistan's spy agency hit by bomber. Suicide car bombers killed at least 16 people and wounded more than 80 in two attacks in northwestern Pakistan on Friday, including a devastating strike on the regional headquarters of the spy agency overseeing much of the country's anti-terror campaign. The bombings were the latest in a string of attacks on security forces, civilians, and western targets since the government launched an offensive in mid-October against militants in the border region where Al-Qaeda and Taliban leaders are believed to be hiding out. The attack on the Inter Services Intelligence Agency building occurred in the city of Peshawar, which has borne the brunt of the militants' retaliation against the army offensive. A wave of bombings in the last week alone in and around the city has killed more than 50 people. Security forces guarding the intelligence complex opened fire on a pickup laden with explosives, but the bomber was able to detonate his payload said an intelligence official. Guerrilla War The early morning blast heard across the city destroyed much of the three-story building and killed ten people including seven who worked for the spy agency the army said in a statement. At least another 55 people were wounded officials said. This is a guerrilla war said the Information Minister for Northwest Frontier Province, where Peshawar is the capital. About an hour later, a second suicide car bomber attacked a police station further south near the Afghan border, killing at least six people. The station is close to the border, an area in Pakistan's semi-autonomous tribal region where officials believe many militants have fled to escape the recent army offensive. The government has vowed the surging militant attacks will not dent the country's resolve to pursue the operation in South Waziristan, where officials say the most deadly insurgent network in Pakistan is based. Friday's attack in Bashawa was the second to target a spy agency complex this year. A suicide squad using guns, grenades, and a van packed with explosives attacked a building and an ISI building in May. The ISI has been involved in scores of covert operations in the Northwest against Al Qaeda targets since 2001, when many militant leaders crossed into the area following the U.S. led invasion of Afghanistan. Its offices in Peshawar are on the main road leading from the city to Afghanistan. The agency was instrumental in using CIA money to train jihadi groups to fight the Soviet Union in Afghanistan in the 1980s. And despite assisting in the fight against Al-Qaeda since then, some Western officials consider the agency an unreliable ally and allege it still maintains links with the militants or the insurgents or whatever have you call them. Taliban and Al-Qaeda fighters are waging a war against the Pakistani government because they deem it un-Islamic and are angry about its alliance with the United States. The insurgency began in earnest in 2007 and attacks have spiked since the run-up to the offensive. A car bomb exploded in a market in Peshawar at the end of October, killing at least 112 people in the deadliest attack in Pakistan in over two years. On October 10th, a team of militants staged a raid on the army headquarters close to the capital, Islamabad, taking soldiers hostages in a 22-hour standoff that left nine militants and 14 others dead. 
Militants have also targeted convoys in Pakistan delivering supplies to soldiers in Afghanistan. Attackers or militants fired rockets at a group of tankers over the southwestern city of Quetta that were delivering fuel, fuel to U.S. and NATO troops. One driver was killed and five tankers were torched. Approximately 80 percent of all non-essential supplies to Western forces in Afghanistan are trucked through Pakistan after landing at the Arabian seaport of Karachi. So this war goes on. The Afghanistan war goes on and the area, this area of the world has become destabilized by the Afghanistan war and it doesn't appear to be getting any better it does appear to be getting worse and how much longer will this go on what will be the end result of all this of all these things how will it end up and again there's something much more going on here something much bigger and everything is connected. Everything happens for a reason or a purpose. And these are more signs of the end times transition days. Transition is an ongoing process happening daily. And there are many signs. <laughs>